Welcome back everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Here is the latest walking stick. This has, uh, this has just about everything in it. We have a nice piece of wood we found in the forest. Has uh, a lot of spalting, little wormholes. I thought it was ash at first, but it was much easier to, to carve than ash. Uh, still a nice solid piece of wood. Let me show you the details of it. We have a beautiful uh, wood spirit. Coming with uh, tree branches all up top. We've added two citrine crystals in the back. One at the base where the tree is coming out of, forming into this top one here. Nice beard coming down. Tapered handle with a power cord wrap. Show you how to do that. We did a uh, Celtic knot, a little chip relief carving done there. Uh, slightly stained in a different color to have that stand out. And like I said, at the base, uh, tons of wormholes, spalting, tapering all down to a nice rubber foot. It's a beautiful piece. Uh, this was requested by a client in Ohio. Uh, she wanted all these things, the citrine uh, crystals, the wood spirit, uh, the Celtic knot or Celtic knot carved there and uh, luckily found a beautiful piece of wood to go with that. Hope you enjoy the build, go through all the steps. Um, if you uh, if you like the video please hit the, the like and subscribe that really means a lot to me helps with the algorithm to get this out to more and more people and uh, let me know your thoughts if you like it something you change or um, hey just regular comments I try and answer all your all your comments and and uh, and suggestions so thanks a lot for tuning in hope you enjoy the build good morning we have the next walking stick this is a, an order put in this is going to be a busy one we have crystals to put in uh, citrine crystals we have a wood spirit we have a Celtic knot to put in I think that's about it, but it's going to be busy. It seems like we have everything on this one. Um, clients asked for a little bit of everything, so it's going to be interesting to put it all together. Uh, it's got this one, nice straight stick. It's not ash, it's a little bit heavy. It's, yeah, I'd say it's a medium weight, maybe maple. Um, don't know, there was no bark on it. You guys take a look at it. This is how I found it in the forest. Uh, I gotta clean all this up. Tiny check right here. Um, I've taken off the bark a little bit at the bottom. There's some nice coloration in it. It's not white, um, so when we put some oil on, it's gonna have a nice color. And near the bottom, a little bit of bug holes. Uh, that's gonna add a little something. What we're gonna do is fill this in with a little bit of black epoxy, these tiny little holes. I think that'll add a nice texture here at the bottom. We've got to taper it so most of these will disappear, but that's the first step. I've got to take off all this uh, dirt and whatever was there from the forest floor. So let's get going on that. Take off these little nubs. Start making it smooth. Let's get going on it. Just getting the handle shaped out, just starting to round this over like that. Just 
circle template to lay out the bottom diameter or the final diameter we're going to do for the foot. It's a 15 16 uh, for a one inch rubber foot. So what we have here is um, a Celtic knot pattern. Instead of drawing it out, I printed out a copy that I found online. I just taped it over some um, some carbon paper. So here's the paper. Here's the carbon paper just underneath, taped down. Now we're just going to go over everything, and that's going to be the pattern uh, transferred onto the stick. And then we'll we'll carve it out more than likely with the Dremel. So let me just finish doing this outline and stay tuned. So, finish laying that out. Let's take that off and see if it transferred. Oh yeah, that came out nice. So there's the pattern. A couple of little details just to darken up. But I think that'll be easy enough to follow. So there we have the Celtic knot, now that's in focus, or Celtic knot, just carved into the front, little, uh, little relief chip carving. We will stain this one, just the knot itself, a little darker to make it stand out compared to the rest, going up to the handle, and sketched out where the wood spirit's going to be. Just some rough points right now but uh, we'll take it over to the Dremel start carving away starting with the cut saw flame bit Thank 
So now that we've pretty much accomplished the details, put all the hairs in, put some lines around the eyes, and now we've got to start thinking about the crystals that we have, the citrine crystals. Got two of them here, and uh, have to see how to place them. So first thing, we've got to cut off all that excess. It's way too high, and start thinking about where to put this in. This one up top just drew a center line basically right in the back of the face so this is center line of the back I think I'm gonna put it there so I just want to trace out where we're gonna to have to nibble out the wood with the Dremel it's gonna be a long process of trial and error that's what we'll do so here's the back of it here's a little reminder so right in back of the head we got two spots for the crystals this one which will fit in near the top once that's glued in and all set in place I'm going to um, make this whole top look like branches but you see how the lights comes through it it's actually quite nice and then another one further down, just behind where the beard goes. There. That's going to fit in. Whoa. Yeah, that was close. All right, that was going to fit in like that. And uh, we'll carve it all in afterwards. So let me clamp this down so I don't drop it and start gluing it in. So using a little five-minute epoxy, set it in place and taped it in and this one down here we'll let that dry uh, three four hours minimum and then start carving back the openings to make it look like the wood and the crystals are all formed together so we'll be back in a few hours So I think we finished the carving portion here of the walking stick. Uh, beautiful piece. It's not ash. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's a little bit softer. Uh, the carving went really easy. Um, let's see what we have here. So we have a nice wood spirit. Did tree branch like top. Two citrine crystals as requested by the client. So one near the top, one down here, and the branches flow from one to another. All this was done with the Dremel and uh, many hours of sanding. Nice tapered handle here. This we're going to wrap with a black paracord wrap. A Celtic knot, uh, just a little bar relief, uh, just a little relief chip carving down the shaft. And it continues down. This is going to look at all the wormholes filled in with epoxy. Uh, some nice spalting there as well. Uh, here's some more. This is going to pop beautifully when we put the oil on. And that's what we're going to do next. Uh, so let's watch this uh, 
this beautiful piece of wood. Again, I thought it was ash at the beginning, but it, it's a little too soft for that. But still nice solid and uh, much lighter weight than ash. So maybe a maple, maybe a poplar, not quite sure. So we got a nice Watco T-coil. Just a little bit on a clean rag here. See if I can get this nicely for you. Always a little tough, but uh, yeah, it's darkening right up. All those lines, all that spalting that's in there. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. You always take a chance with the sticks you uh, you find in the woods. But this one really worked out well. Tons of color, tons of lines in it. So let me finish this up and uh, look what it is at the end. So we're going to uh, start the power cord wrap. Uh, just before that, I added a slight um, walnut-based Danish oil to the Celtic knot. And I find it made it stand out a little bit. So what we're going to do now is start the black power cord wrap as requested. Uh, we have the loose end coming down here, forming a loop, and coming back up. This is about 50 feet now, just as you see behind me lying on the ground. So what we're going to do is start the wrap. Uh, because of the shape, I'm going to start it up top this time and move my way down to this um, sort of expanding area. I find it slips a bit, so we'll stop it up here. So let's start a few wraps and uh, see how that goes. Okay, so we've reached the end. We've thrown the loose end through the loop. Now we just have to hold it really tight. We've got to close this loop up. Usually I do it with a pair of pliers. Take this loose end here, or the, the top that you had, and you pull. There we go. And that tightened everything up. So now you have the perfect power cord wrap. You're going to have to cut this end and melt it down. Cut this end, the loose end here, melt it down. You have yourself a nice power cord wrap. Nice. Do the same here at the bottom, that'll be it. 